So, on this floor, it's time for maximum manliness. It's Max's turn. Once again, equip the wing boots and the magic mist. Max really needs this since he is so slow. <laughs> yeah, you might have noticed a little jump there. That's because I had to go and get my sister off work. See, she was done early, so I just had to get her. <laughs> actually, that might actually be a good time for me to. Oh crap, gunners! Not cool. Might actually be a good time for me to end the first episode off. Huh. Maybe I should do two fights and then. Yeah, if I do that, then this place will take four episodes. Actually, not a bad idea. <laughs> there we go. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, thankfully Max got so high HP that the chances of enemies actually killing him are pretty slim. <laughs> Come on, let me find a stupid portal. Is it just me that starts thinking about the final area in Earthbound when you see this place? I mean, and that the, the fact that they said it's like this area is alive. It, I really start thinking about that place. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I don't, I don't really know why. It's just reminds me of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Earthbound. I need to play you again. It is such a good game. <laughs> Come on, where's that stupid portal? Uh. Oh yeah, a treasure chest. I don't freaking care. I will probably be able to take what's in it anyway. Uh, come on. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna cut until I find the portal. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Two screens away, of course. Yeah. Okay, so let's fight the final elementler in this place. Arr, blood slime. Screw you. Run, Max, run. Oh, okay. Uh, it's pretty nice though that those enemies just cast deep mist and nothing else. <laughs> let's see, let's start with Aqua Spiral. And also, we want to have the magic, oh no, not the magic boots, what the heck is the magic boots? The jet boots, you want to have them equipped for this battle. And also, the mystic symbol. Because yes, the mystic symbol do actually work with Max's skills. So, the final elementler is a ground elementler, so, uh, and he got help. This is probably the hardest elementler battle, just because of the help he got. Ow. Thankfully though, none of these enemies are really strong, <laughs> and his uh, ground dasher doesn't do that much damage, even though Max is actually weak to- Oh crap, ow! Oh, that was douchey. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty cool too, though. Ow. Come on. Kill him, I said. Oh, man. Thankfully, though, you can use items in battle. <laughs> or else this place would suck. Alright, come on. Follow me. Follow the leader. Come on. Come on. Oh, crap. No, ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. I was too hasty. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, oh, crap. Reverse stall, just in case. Yep, I needed it. God damn it! I was gonna be pro and go through this place with, without using reverse stalls, but no. Come on. Aqua Spiral. Take it to the face! Oh, God. That sucked. I was gonna be, I'm gonna be pro with everything, but no. <sighs> oh, well. I don't think I need it. That's, you could buy a crap ton of reverse dolls if you really want. You can buy them in Genie, and with the Genie trick I showed you, it's really easy to get 15 of them. <laughs> Let's see how fast Max can kill this thing. Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> that was impressive! We get the Star Helm and a blue shield. Which is technically the best shield in the game. It really depends how you look at it though. You could use, you know, cancel the combos in this battle, but really, you don't need it at all. Max is just so powerful and just Aqua Spiral and you win, that's all. <laughs> okay, you know what, just get the resist ring for now. I just have to be sure. Okay, good. So, that was the final elementler. Let's go further. 
What awaits us now, though, that there's no more elementalers to fight? Well, because I'm such a nice guy, I found this super secret replay elementaler for chat to fight. Don't ask me how to find it, it's not easy. <laughs> now, what you want to do against a elementaler with chat is, ow, try to run, run up to him and try to freeze him with ice hammer. The chances are incredibly small, though, that you actually be able to freeze him. But if you do, it will definitely be worth it. <laughs> but if you don't, though, I mean, Chat is actually incredibly powerful with Ice Hammer, and I actually, all of, almost all of her skills are incredibly powerful. And that the Pow Hammer that popped up there was the Pico's Revenge, by the way. So it is pretty helpful. Alright, well, this is not going well. Powerball! Boom, yeah! Powerball is actually very powerful. But, uh... What will happen if you actually manage to freeze him? And you use Powerball. That's what I'm trying to do now. You could also use uh, Eternal Hammer. It's very powerful, but... I like my to have TP, so... <laughs> Come on, freeze! Please! I want to show. It is so awesome to see. Yes, okay. Parable. Boom. Oh man, seriously? That's it? I actually got in Parable to do around 20,000 damage. I should equip the extreme. But yeah, I did over 20,000 damage with the Parable once. That was amazing. Chad is probably the one that's able to do the highest amount of damage with one hit. So she she's far from bad, it's just I'm not really that good when it comes to controlling her, that's all. So, but I thought, well, it's the f it is the final dungeon, so I think chat needs some spotlight too, you know? <laughs> I mean, she is a good character. Anyway, moving on! On this floor, we want to use Reed. And let's equip him with the normal setup too. Magic Mist and the Jet Boots. Now get ready to see this game's version of the freaking Flash. Seriously, read with the jet boots. <laughs> zoom, zoom! I'm gonna run away from this battle before this banana hit the floor. All right, we got these guys now. Yeah, they are a little bit annoying, but they can't really do much damage to me, so uh, don't worry. <laughs> or to us, I guess. Oh come on. Ah. <sighs> I wish I could have used my holy bottles again. Come on, ow. Go away. Ow, 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 ow. Sheesh. They are re relentless. Okay, I just have to be sure. Okay, it's on normal mode, fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would be able to beat the elementalers on hardcore mode. I did do a... Well, I guess say a uh, halfway test run through this place before I started this. And wow, I forgot to take it on normal mode. I went through this place on hardcore mode. <laughs> I, but I defeat one elementaler, the one for Meredy, that's all. Keel's elementaler kicked my ass. <laughs> but I must be honest though, it was actually pretty fun too. Uh, evil blaster! Oh no, you don't. So now that there's no more elementalers to fight, what are we gonna fight here? A whole new enemy called the Living Armor, and holy shit, that thing is huge. And I forgot to put on my normal skills. <laughs> Once again, Rising Phoenix is amazing in this battle. But seriously, when is Rising Phoenix not amazing? <laughs> so, yeah, the Living Armor. He is a pretty awesome looking guy. And he's freaking huge. And also pretty strong, and I actually forgot to go over all the new equipment we got. <laughs> oh well, let's do it after this battle. I guess. Why not? I actually forgot. Damn. Oh, right, I can equip my normal setup now. Let's see. Fairy ring and the warrior symbol. There we go. Yeah, I thought Reed was a little bit too fast. <laughs> and his TP went down way too fast, too. Yeah, the living or yeah, the living armor. I don't know what I was thinking there. Living armor. He is not bad. He is pretty strong though, so you should be careful. And as you see, of course, he is huge, so uh, he can catch up to you pretty fast. 
And he tries to kick you. <laughs> I have no idea why. As I said, thankfully you can use items in battle though. Come on. Just go down already, please. Let's see, how much HP do you have left? Oh, okay. Wrong way, idiot. Evil Fire is probably his most devastating attack, and it's not really that bad either, so... Yeah, <laughs> this is actually a very easy battle, like, especially if you have Rising and Burning Phoenix. I mean, but, as I said, what? when is Rising and Burning Phoenix not incredibly good? <laughs> And he also had that Bigfoot, but I killed it so fast, so it really couldn't do anything. I guess it's pretty much just there for Freeze Lancer or something. We get the Star Cloak, and a Star Bracelet, which will be very helpful very soon. So, let's check out that new weapon we got. The Gugnir, with the highest thrust stat in the game. A spear used in the, fi in the final battles during the War of the Gods. Very nice. And one thing though, the Gugner is probably the best weapon to use against Kluss. Because, uh, it doesn't say so, but the Gugner have a uh, deep mist effect. Or, I mean, an acid rain effect, I believe it is. So, it will reduce Kluss's stats. And also, I don't know if this is just what I, something that I noticed, but it seems that Kluss takes more damage against thrust attacks. So, the Gugner is easily the best weapon to use against him. And we got the, let's see, the blue shield. A shield also known as the abandoned shield. It's not as good in defense, but because of its evade, it is probably, or at least close to, the best shield in the game. It's really up to you though what you want to use, but I, I kind of prefer the chaos shield just because of its defense. But the blue shield is by no means bad. It is very good, actually. So, let's move on. There's one boss left. Is it another living armor? Eh, uh, maybe. Or maybe it's an old friend. 